Hello guys and welcome back to more Lit Aquile on the Force 90 YouTube channel. Last episode we went out of the Europa League with a heavy 5-1 home defeat against Dynamo Kiev. Uh, today's game is away, it's against Napoli who are down at the uh, wrong end of the uh, Serie A table, 17th place. And well, if they lose here they could slip into the relegation zone and second from bottom. Hopefully we do win, um, because a win for us would take us... Well, we're quite a way, quite a way behind our next place up, but you know it, it would take us a step closer to the uh, the top three, which would mean Champions League football, which is uh, would be a fantastic goal for us. Uh, at the moment, we're in fourth place. Udinese and Cagliari are just below us, um, so yeah, we're in a pretty good position at the moment. I'm pretty pleased at how we're doing. Um, so yeah, last episode I lost five one at home. Uh, since then, though, I've actually won all my games. If we have a look at the uh, four games played, you might notice I've actually been keeping clean sheets for the first time this season. Um, actually, 3-0 win at home against Sampdoria is the first time this season in any game, including friendlies, that I've kept a clean sheet, which is remarkable that it's taken until the end of November to do this. Um, so let's have a look at these four games that we played. So looking at the goals. So this was a very comfortable 3-0 win against Sampdoria, who were actually in fourth place before we played this. Uh, as you can see, a first minute goal. You know, it's always good to get those to start off really well. It was a penalty from Anderson. Um, I brought on, I made a few kind of controversial changes in this match. Uh, I dropped a number of players, including Kandreva and three of our defenders, because of how dreadful they played against um, against Kiev. Um, and you know, it seems to have paid off. You know, we won three 0 so that's good. Uh, Anderson scored the first goal there. Stevanovic was the one who won the penalty. Who actually. I brought on for Kendrava, so that was good. Um, second goal, Basta with the throw, and this was uh, Anderson, 55th minute, I think. Uh, Stevanovic with the ball, Anderson wins it. Oh, no, it's Parolo. Okay, so yeah, lovely, lovely goal by Parolo. Really good stuff. And then the third goal, I believe, came from Kozak. So it was 55 minutes that goal, and then the last goal came in the last 10 minutes, I think, 84th minute. Regini with the throw, Anderson with the cross, Zivkovic. With another ball and Kozak, all the space in the world on the edge of the six yard box puts it in. So that was a nice 3 0 win, I was pleased with that. Uh, and then we faced Fiorentina away, one of our fierce rivals in Serie A. Uh, we beat them a 3 2 away, which is a fantastic performance, um, I think. Um, you know, Virginie maybe at fought for one of the goals, maybe both of them, I don't know, I don't really remember. Um, Perolo not doing too great. Uh, Kozak not doing too good, but the substitute for Kozak closer got on the score sheet. Lulic was a uh, absolutely tremendous performance for him. He scored one and he set one up as well. Uh, so let's just have a look at these goals. Five goals in this game. In this game. So let's have a look at this. I'm just making sure that my uh, lead is actually plugged in. My issue has been that I've actually had to record things a number of times because, well, sometimes the um, the lead in the back of my snowball will come out and it's really annoying. But if you just make sure that it's in all the time, it should be okay. That's my only complaint about this microphone. Otherwise, quality-wise, it's great. Lewis just got the goal there. Only took less than seven minutes. And he got his goal. First goal of the season. I'm hoping that that's the first of a few. Because he only scored once last season. Which, uh, well, I'd like him to get more this this season. Um, this, I believe, was the uh, equaliser by uh, Fiorentina. By, um, well, there's Valero. There's Brillante got on the end of it. I was hoping that Campbell wouldn't score against us. Ca Joel Campbell was kind of one that got away from us in the most recent transfer window. We made a loan offer for him, uh, but um, Fiorentina came in with a permanent transfer offer, which uh, Arsenal took. So, um, yeah, kind of cheesed off that I didn't get Joel Campbell. But we do have Stevanovic, we have Zivkovic. So I think we made some pretty good dealings in the transfer window. That was a lovely finish by Anderson on the edge of the... Uh, over the penalty area in the uh, 45th minute or 45, 46th minute, really. So that was 2 0. No, 2 1. 2 2. No, that was 2 1. This is 2 2. Ilicic hits the roof of the net with a goal. And then, as I said, close got our third goal. So we'll see that. And then we'll move on to the, uh, to the next game. So Borussia with the free kick. Lulitz gets on the end of it, and here we go, he assisted this one as well. Closer, lovely pass, lovely finish. So really good stuff. 3-2 win at Fiorentina, I'll take that. Um, our next game was our final uh, Europa League group game. This was uh, away at Omanoia. Pretty irrelevant match, both of us were out, and um, 
Dan Mokiev and Fenerbahce were safely through to the uh, round of 32. So this match was just about pride, really. And, you know, we almost got embarrassed. You know, not, not taking anything away from Omanaya. They did well to uh, to qualify for um, for European football. But we were 3-0 up in this match. Kozak got a first-half brace. Anderson scored in uh, 52 minutes. They pulled one back for Rubio, 73 minutes. And then Novarotti, um got a straight red card, uh, conceding a penalty in the process that's converted by... Ramos, uh, and it was 3 2 that ended, so we saved our blushes at the end eventually. Um, but you know, it was, it was a close match. Uh, I'm not going to show goals for that because it's an irrelevant match now. And then we faced Chesena at home, we won this 2 0. Kendreva on his return to the squad scored um, both goals, so good performance this, and a good defensive performance as well um, to keep a clean sheet. So that's something we need to be doing more often. Hopefully, we can keep it up. So look at the two goals here from Kadreva. Yeah, Yawning. The goalkeeper Leali there. Um, and there's the header. And then another header by Kana. Perolo to Anderson. And then Kozak. Anderson. Kozak again. And there's Kandreva. And well, good strike. Good finish. And he's had a lot of them this season. He's got he's got a lot of free kicks, Kandreva, but he's got goals like that as well, which is good to see from him. Um, and then the second goal here, 48 minutes or so, um, ball came to Felipe Anderson, and then he finds Parolo. And there's Zivkovic, who's been actually a decent player, um, given him a few games, and he's actually performed fairly well. And Cavanda here with the cross, and then it comes out to Ledesma. And then Parolo hits the woodwork and then Kendrave is the per first person to it. So, oh dearie me, that was close. Almost knocked my microphone completely over. So yeah, we're a good 2-0 win there, I'm pleased with that. So now we go on to today's game. So as I said, today we're facing Empoli away. So let's see how we do here. Um, strange formation, that. 4-2-2-2 DM. Don't really want to play that. I'm going to keep the what well, a similar team as I can, really. I think and I'm gonna just gonna gonna go gonna go with the uh not the exact same team. I'm gonna play Lulic. We want him as a winger though. And then Kandreva will have him as as a wi as a no, Kandreva. Uh let's try him let's try advanced playmaker. Let's see how we do with that. Um Kozak, Parolo, Ledesba. Stay with me. Um yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, Gentilet is back from injury Regini is actually suspended for this match because he has um, four yellow cards so we're going to just replace him with uh, Gentiletti who's not long returned from a hernia injury good to see him back uh, but Karno and De Vrij for the time being are going to be our first choice um, defensive pair I want to try and give Georgievic a game today because I haven't really given, given him a fair chance yet um, Maori, as for Maori. Uh, I have now set him for release. Um, I believe I have anyway. Yeah, I have set him for release. Uh, 35 years old. He's not going to get any get any better. His um, stats are all going down. So I'm going to let him go at the end of the season. I imagine he'll retire. He's been at this club for what 10 years or so. Yeah, more or less 10 years. No, even longer than that because he was. Oh, he was loaned to us originally. Oh, I see. Yeah. So yeah, about nine, ten years. And you know his his appearances have started to go down in well, in most rec in more recent years, and he's just not performing as best as he could as 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 good as he as good as he used to be able to. So yeah, he's going to be leaving us at the end of the season. I've decided I won't be renewing his contract. As for closer though, I have given him um, an option to maybe extend his contract if he plays enough games. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, pick up where you left off. So let's start the match. Here we go. Uh, change my camera back. Right, here we go. Underway against Empoli. And it's us that start off with the ball. Here is Parolo. He finds Kandreva, who uh, goes to find Cavan. And a bit was a pretty weak pass, really. A bit of a short pass. Five minutes played. No shots yet. Kandreva's free kick hits the wall. Here is Cavanda. And well, there's a header. I think it's by Parolo. Goes just over. 
Cavani was originally meant to be a backup player, but he's actually done so, so well. He's kind of kept Bastard on the bench for most of the time. Only times he hasn't played is when he's been um, when he's been tired. Or after the uh, dreadful game he had against um, against Kiev. But other than that, he's been actually really, really good. Um, so we're in a corner here. We've had a few shots, and we've actually had a clear-cut chance. Do we get anything from this corner? No, it's headed away. Libor Kozak picks it up. And passes it all the way back to Barisha. And then we start again from the back. He's coming forward a bit, Barisha. Hopefully he doesn't make a stupid pass like um, one other goalkeeper. Which I've seen on this game. That was when they uh, closed the score from his own half. Kano with header away, but it comes to Valde Fury. And uh, we've won the ball back here. It comes to Rika, the uh, Empoli player. There's Galano. 15 minutes played, a few shots, one chance. Um, still fairly average ratings. Hopefully they start to go up a bit. I want to see a goal before half time, ideally. Can we get from this corner? Karner hit the woodwork, I think. He did. Lorik Karner with the woodwork. Cavando with the ball now. End of the highlight. And we've come close a couple of times now. 31 minutes played now. Kozak's rating going down still. 6.4. Not nice. Kind of annoying to see. Ledesma. Come on, shoot it now. Nope. Kavanda. Come on. Lulic, go! Yes. Sina Lulic. Um, no, he, offside, really? I see a replay of that. Oh, it's pouring out of rain. Well, that's tight. You know, that says offside, but, that, you know, I would have called that level. Still no goals. Kavanda to Ledesma. Back to Kavanda. There's the header. Kandreva. Saved by Brignoli. Brignoli. I'm not quite sure how to print out some of these players. Can okay, drive up another corner. It's come out to Galano on the other side. And now, um, oh, we've won a free kick. It was an offside there. But, yeah, this has been a pretty poor match so far. And poor finishing and poor playmaking efforts, really. Ledesma, Lulic this time. No, he was offside again. 42 minutes played. Still no goals. Antonelli chases the ball and well we back misplaces the pass. Here's Galano. And Cavanda is well he's dropping back a bit. De Vry to Ledesma to Parolo. Candreva passing it around well here. Candreva keep moving. Is he gonna get a crossway? He does. Kozak. Up to Ledesma. Anderson. Well it's towards goal, but it was saved by Brickignoli. Had a few chances, but we haven't really put them away. Six point three for Anderson. 6.2 for Kozak. What's going on with you? We can still win this. Right. Not happy with your finishing. Not happy with your playmaking play, play making efforts. You haven't been too bad. Right. Start second half. I want a goal. Give me a goal. Ardemani with the kickoff to Baratli. It's Bianchetti to Rika. Galano. It's closed down by Kivanda. And well, there's a free kick now for Empoli. And well he hit the post there from very close. Fiamozzi is a Galo and that hit the roof of the net, I think. Goes for a corner. I think it was actually tipped over by Barisha. And that goes out for a, um another corner. Empoli getting us all the shots now. And that was held on to you by Barisha in the end, that one. That's the end of that um play. Anderson now to Kozak. Anderson again. Parolo. Kendreva. Now this has got... Are you serious? That was a dreadful shot. This has been a really poor match so far. 53 minutes played. Still no goals. I'm going to start do we need to start doing something about this. Because this is not working out well. 57 minutes played. Still nothing. Defended very well. But you know. those That front three. Well... This three here, this triangle here, is just not performing as well as I would have liked. So we're going to make a bit of a change here. We're going to bring on Stevanovic for, the, for Lulic. Um, I'm going to try Kandreva back as a winger because he doesn't seem to be doing very well as the advanced playmaker. So we'll do that. And then Stevanovic we'll have as inside forward. Let's see if we have any luck that way. And then if we still... Um, have no goals. I'm gonna bring on. Uh, I'm gonna bring on Georgievich for uh, Kozak because he had a, he's had a bit of time away from the squad. Well, up from the first team. 
maybe it could have done him good. Here's Kandreva, here's Ledesma, Stevanovic. Uh, well, it goes over in the end, but he was uh, brought down in the box, but no no penalty or anything. I don't think there are any appeals, though. Uh, Kandreva's looking exhausted, that's all I need to see. Um, I'm actually going to put Stevanovic over to the other side. And um, we're going to bring on Kaita. Let's see if we have any luck there. Kite has been on poor form, but hopefully this will do him some good. Again, he's had some time away. And hasn't played that much. Galano to Deval de Fury. Here's Souza. And there's the shot. It was saved by Barisha. It needs to be cleared away here. We've won a free kick, but um, one of the players has gone down here. Um, he's taken a knock. Here comes our change. 72 minutes played. Still no goals. Ledesma with a corner here. Let's come out to Cavanda on the uh, edge of the centre circle. Um, that was well. Was that a shot? I'm not quite sure what that was. If it was just a ball into the box. Brignoli heads it up pitch. Vrya with a header. Michelese de Souza. Michelese again. Ball was won by Perolo. He's been a good player for us at the moment. On good form. Kaita here. And Kozak. There's the goal. That's what we want to see. And he wasn't offside, which is good to see. 13th goal of the season for Libor Kozak. That's excellent. I think he's already got more than Djordjevic. Kaita. No, he's not been on the pitch long, and he gets an assist. Kozak, free header pretty much. Took it comfortably, and that's 1-0. And finally, we have a goal. 78 minutes played. Uh, Going to try and go for a second here. I don't want to concede an equaliser, though, so I'm going to nip down to control. Oh, God, okay. That didn't take long. Um... Right, I want to see the replay of that, because I completely didn't see that. I was so busy in the... Um, in the menu. Barbarist Baratti. He must have been offside. He must have been. Right, now I want another goal now. I want to win this. Savanovic. Oh, there we go. That didn't take long. Don't say it's going to be another late goal first. 74 minutes with the first goal and it's already 2-1. Um, Ledesma with the free kick. Rico with the header. Ledesma nicked it off him again. Stevanovic, I think that was his first goal for the club, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, we need to kick on here. Can we get another goal here? Kozak. He was dispossessed by Rigioni, but this time Stevanovic hit the bar. Goodness me. Um, I'm going to bring on Maori for the last few minutes, just to see if he can do something later on. I doubt he can, though, because he's, um, he's not been doing very well. So, come on, Maori, do something. Prove to me that you can maybe get a contract. Um, Souza. Parolo, and that was a saved by Barisha. Right, we need to start defending this now. Defensive. Valde Fury to Rigione. Rigione. And that was saved by Barisha. Comfortable. We've been doing well defensively. It's just a shame that we conceded. 92 minutes played. One more minute of injury time. Kaita now. Making a good run down the left. Tries to find Kozak. Doesn't though. Kaita again. Maori. Again, Kaita. Was dispossessed by Baratli. Goes up for a throw, and I think we'll run this down now. And so they will be taking his time over the throw. Kaita was dispossessed by Farago. And, well, that was a poor pass. Ledesma, Kozak. That was a sitter. He should have scored that. That should have been 3-1 there. How could he miss that? He was about four yards out. Um, That was a good turnaround, I think. Um, I would say it was a let off, though. But your defending was good. I was happy with your solid defensive work. Are you serious? Um, I'm going to try and save this now. Try something like that. Angered? Well, that wasn't a great team talk. That wasn't too good. But, you know, we got a win, which is good. We'll stay fourth place. And we're now nine points off of third place Milan. And 13 behind Inter. Did they all lose? Oh, Milan won 4-0. Inter, I don't see Inter anywhere. Have they already played? They must have already played. Um, but you've, um, AC Milan still... Well, AC Milan played. They have a game in hand. Um, pleased with that performance. Um, took a while to actually get going, but, you know, we've got a win in the end. So I hope that wasn't, wasn't too bad. Sivanovic had a good good performance off, off the bench as well, I think it was, wasn't it? He got the late winner. I think that's why. Private... Yeah, we did hit work a number of times. Reminds me of Liverpool last night, actually. The amount of times we hit the post, I thought that it wasn't going to be our night. Um, 
made it hard for ourselves. Disappointing it was so long coming. Special goal. There we go. Happy with that. Um, so let's have a look at our schedule, see what we've got coming up. So our next games, we've got Udinese at home, Perugia away before a Coppa Italia match. Uh, we now know that that's at home against Torino. Home tie against Juventus and our next live commentary will be away at the leaders into Milan. That's going to be a difficult one. Um, I will end this off here guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.